Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> Hello, my name is Chris Wells, and I'm rather terrified right now. I mean, hello, my name is Christopher Wells, founding past president of Market Harbour Rotor Act in the UK, as well as the current DRR of District 1070. And I'm rather terrified right now. This is easily in the top five scariest things I've ever done. As you can see by my charts, this is next to skydiving, meeting Barry Rassin, and of course, the dark. But it's been my dream to talk at something like this. Actually, wait. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt my presentation to introduce the first of the call and response sections of my speech today. I've made special yellow slides to help us, so if you can't read it, just follow my lead. When I say woo, you say ah, woo, ah. woo. Ah. Okay, let's flip it. When I say ah, you say woo, ah. Ah! Very good. There'll be a bit more of them. Back to presentation mode. It's been my dream to talk at something like this. To stand in an impossibly large room and have loads of people say, ah, when I say woo, woo! Ah. Woo! Ah. Good going, just testing. So yes, when Mr. Rotary International President B-Dog Bazza the Danger Rassin asked me to deliver a keynote on the subject of fellowship, fellowship, in front of the largest gathering of Rotarians, to say I was shocked would be an understatement. In fact, I guess you could say I said, ah, oh. oh. I definitely didn't say it like that. Anyways, a few months ago, I was making that noise as I couldn't quite work out how to even begin such an endeavour. So I did what most people do these days. I asked the internet. <laughs> and I just got a load of Lord of the Rings stuff. <laughs> so with the internet failing me, I went to the internet of people. I went to a Rotarian. Specifically, Rotarian Jim Davis, my introduction to this magical world of do-goodery. But first, a small story from a market town in England. Let's flash back to 2015, when I looked like this. <laughs> I was in a situation, unfortunately, quite common for a lot of people in their 20s. I was out of university and a job actually using my media production degree in my hometown of Market Harbour, but I was feeling a bit lost. It's like on that railroad of life. That track felt nearly finished. I was born, then school, now work. Next stop, taxes and then death. <laughs> Fortunately, a colleague noticed that angst and introduced me to a Rotarian. My first Rotarian. And you never forget your first. <laughs> Anyways, I met Jim Davis, and after answering the first question everyone asks when they first meet a Rotarian, what does Rotary actually do? Eventually, we decided to form a Rotaract Club together, despite the fact I wasn't really sure what one was. And now I'm here. The end. Thank you. <laughs> no, actually, at the time in 2015, District 1070 only had about a dozen Rotaractors across three clubs in a district that's approximately 9,000 kilometres squared. Back in the 90s, there were thousands of Rotaractors in that district, and now there were 12. Unfortunately, we discovered that this was a fairly prevalent situation across a lot, but not all, of the country. In spite of this, Market Harbour Rotor Act was born in November 2015. We started acquiring members by just grabbing friends. We started... Beautiful. It's a beautiful. We were very proud. Stuck it on the fridge. 
And we started by just grabbing friends and telling them, you're one of us now, regardless of the fact we didn't really know what us was or what exactly we were doing. But we met up anyway. And here's our first picture together. Oh. But then something magic happened. We started doing stuff, lots of stuff. Tinned food collecting, quizzes, fundraisers, events. Other clubs started forming across the district, growing in number with every passing month. We were doing good stuff for great causes, and naturally we were having fun doing it. And that's what I believe to be the core of everything that the Rotary Collective does. Something you see in every project and person here. Putting more good into the world. Doing good. Or as I like to say, do goodery. Yeah. Woo! That's right, everybody. It's participation time once again. I'm going to count one, two, three, and on three, I want you to shout do goodery, okay? Are you ready? Good, that side's ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, that was beautiful, but it's not quite my dream yet. One, two, three. That was. And we're achieving far, far more. Despite the fact there are less of us because we're working with Rotarians. We're on the same bike to the same destination, do goodery town. We're in constant communication and involving each other because we're moving towards the same do goodery goals. Side story. In Market Harbour, we wanted to enhance our do goodery with a proper service project, something to help the community long term rather than our usual fundraising. I later found out in Rotary you call that sustainability. Anyways, in our local Rotary Club, just happened to be in contact with Different Strokes, a charity supporting younger survivors of stroke. There wasn't a local support group in the area, and it was suggested perhaps we could set one up. Brilliant. But how does one even start to set up a support group? Where do we find a room? How and who do we advertise to? What are the health and safety risks like in a room full of chairs, coffee, and worst of all, biscuits? So we involved others, and the answers to all of our non googleable questions came from Rotarians. And now look at where we are. <laughs> our Different Strokes group has been going on for just over a year now, and is developing steadily and beautifully. Sure, there have been some hiccups along the way. Do-goodery isn't always easy. But the beauty of Rotary and Rotaract and Interact was that we all learn together. We're a team and we grow as one. Just last Saturday, we had a meeting scheduled, but almost all of the club involved is here having hamburgers in Hamburg. So who could cover us for the meeting to go on? Rotarians. Do good are we achieved? Plus, it works both ways. Perhaps some Rotarians aren't as familiar with technology and want to use social media to advertise an event, to open up new doors of communication, or they're just a bit, I don't do technology. <laughs> we all know someone, yeah? <laughs> if only there were some tech-savvy people nearby. Do good are achieved? And it's that ability to work and develop together, that fellowship, that can make all of this do-goodery bigger than the sum of its parts. Where else could any of us meet the sheer variety of people who want the same thing? People of so many different ages and backgrounds all coming together for that do-goodery that we all believe in. 
I now want to return to that time right before I met my first Rotarian in 2015 and share the number one scariest time in my life. That idea of the railroad of existence, that apparent end of the train tracks, was a particularly painful period for me. At the time, I didn't have many people to talk to about it either. Many were still coming and going from university. I felt alone and lost. Earlier, I called it angst. But it was beyond that. It was depression. All of the things you hear about depression are true. Food lost its taste, music its joy, the world its color, and it's really, really, really scary. I felt like I was losing myself. And as I said before, this is far too common for a lot of people in their 20s. I think it's ironic in an age of near constant communication that reports are even more widespread about people feeling isolated. And at tricky times like that, it can be hard to find a reason to keep going or people to reach out to. Now, Rotary isn't the cure for depression, and people suffering from it shouldn't feel shy about seeking out medical and professional help. I did. It can be so dangerous if left unattended. But for me, Rotary truly aided filling in some of those dark and empty spaces inside of me. I was fortunate. Market Harbour Rotary Act happened, and then Do Goodery happened. And now I'm here, and while still terrified, I know that I'm surrounded by so many amazing people who only want good for everyone. And if this is all a small story from a market town in England, imagine what we could achieve across the world. There are so many people waiting for something like Rotaract or Rotary to give their lives direction, to find that fellowship that will make all the difference. Imagine if every member of the Rotary family, Rotarian, Rotaractor, Interactor alike, combined for that single do-goodery purpose. Imagine vastly varied generations of people all working for one thing. Imagine the possibilities we, the people of action, could achieve together. So this year, when I went to Jim Davis, my first Rotarian, arms flailing about this speech, what do I do, what do I do? It was because I knew he could and would help me. And can you guess what he advised me to talk about? Do goodery, okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more. We'll do it this way. We're going to start do goodery here, and we're going to end here, okay? Ready? Go. Do goodery, do goodery, do goodery. And I think I did tell him, Jim. Thank you very much. <laughs>